So my name is Sedu Raj, um, and I am the CEO and founder of the company. When I was 18 years old, I went to the States um, to study composite materials um, in Winona State University. Um, it's the only university in America that offers composite materials as an undergraduate program. So I spent my time, studied, and then I um, wanted to learn about bio-based composites, so materials that were biodegradable and bio-based that could be made to uh, make composites instead of these conventional synthetic materials. So I went to North Dakota State uh, University where I was a research assistant on a scholarship to study about bio-based composites. Um, spent a good amount of time, did my master's, finished, and then I went and worked for Syntex Wastaki Composites as a project manager. Um, they were an Indian uh, company, a billion dollar Indian company that bought over a local composites company in the States. So I assisted uh, them with uh, the technology transfer um, to India, where India in Pune, they managed to set up uh, a factory that runs 500 employees building parts for uh, international OEM market. Um, then I came back on a holiday to Malaysia um, to visit family and uh, just didn't have the heart to leave. I decided I wanted to stay here. Um, I actually had received my H-1B uh, to continue working in the States and uh, then I decided, no, I'm just going to try to stay here and see what I can do in business and uh, that's where I was here. <laughs> that's my background. I always had the interest of wanting to run my own composites company, so that's why I was in the States um, getting the experiences that I needed to gather in order for me to someday do this. I think um, I always pictured myself coming back when I was 35 years old with a lot of experience and some pocket and money in my pocket before I came here to start the business. Um, but then, like I said, life happened. I decided to just stay here instead of going back and getting more of that experience. So when I was here, the journey started off where initially I got the opportunity to partner up with SKS Bus, the largest bus manufacturer in the country. So they were my investors. Um, they taught me a lot about business. For five years, we did a lot of work of developing R&D prototypes for composites in their buses. Everything went really well until COVID hit, um, the time that it really uprooted a lot of people and you know things were really rough. So when COVID hit, um, the, the travel industry experienced the after effects of COVID much earlier than everybody else because they stopped. Uh, China tourists weren't allowed to come into Malaysia anymore and the bus industry was severely hit much earlier. So when that happened, um, SKS Bus basically, um, they had to start cutting down on everything that they needed to cut down on in order to ensure that everything could continue going. So then obviously R&D um, is not that important at that point. So it was an amicable split where they were, you go, grow yourself, try on your own, and when things get better again, we'll work back together. You know, at this point, there's not much for us to do. So that when that happened, we I started Midwest Composites in March 2020. That's where I decided I wanted to pursue all the other industries that are out there, not only mass transit. And COVID, the lockdown happened, so we were uh, shut down until about June or July. So that's when we actually managed to reboot the system and start. So after we started the business, we managed to work uh, in the rail industry. Um, we did some design work for SMH Rail, and then we built some parts for DS Railway. Then we worked with some partners in the automotive industry, building race cars. And then we had a few other projects that we were working on. Um, last three, four months ago, we actually managed to work on building unmanned aerial vehicles, drones. Um, these drones are uh, 2.6 meters by 2.6 meters, almost the size of a car. Um, so these were used for military applications. Um, so that was the final project that we've been working on. Um, so right now, most of our work is in the aerospace, the um, unmanned aerial vehicles. Um, we can also expand into the unmanned ground vehicles and maybe even like civilian aircraft. So those are markets that we're looking into um, with the end goal of one day, hopefully working for Boeing or you know um, Airbus. 
Um, and then we're also aiming for the military market, you know, working with people to build the same uh, drones and potentially um, uh, tanks, because I also have experience working in the States, working on uh, the GLTV. It's the Humvee replacement um, in U.S., the Army. So we, uh, I personally actually built the uh, interior panels for all their prototypes. So I'm very aware of what their market needs. So I, I can definitely fulfill the market needs here. Um, mass transit, like I said, we we're working with SKS, so we could also work with other global uh, mass transit bus builders um, the same way with the rail builders. These are markets that we're aiming for. And then automotive, we do a lot of work in race cars, um, custom builds for people. If they want their cars uh, tuned up, uh, new body kit, all that kind of work we can do. And then basically those are the target markets that we're going for. Automotive, mass transit, aerospace, and military. First and foremost, make sure you have the passion. Um, because if you don't have the passion and you don't love what you do, the first sign of trouble or the second sign of trouble or the third sign of trouble, you will walk away. Um, if you have the passion and the commitment to stick by, understand it's going to be a grind. There's a lot of um, reputation building and a lot of other uh, obstacles that you have to navigate, you know, in order to get where you need to be. So for me so far, I could say that my entrepreneurial journey started six years ago. And even six years ago till now, I'm not where I want to be. I think if we want to say the goals that I personally set for myself, I probably still have not hit any of those goals. Uh, there's still a long way to go. So um, success may seem like it's something, but in some ways it depends on what your goals are and whether you have the grit, the determination, and the perseverance to go through with it. Um, so if you can say that, yes, I feel like I can go through it, then entrepreneurship is for you. And uh, there will be a lot of really tough and lonely times when all the people around you doubt you, but you still got to believe in your vision and you got to keep going. There will be failures. I'm not sitting here today with just one, two, three or failures. I probably have had 20 or 30 different failures and there's not enough time to talk about all of them but all those failures have helped me become the entrepreneur that i am today and i anticipate making more mistakes and having more failures as time goes because it's a journey and just make sure overall you win more than you lose